Dear Commissioner Breton, dear members of the European Parliament, dear honorary speakers, guests and friends. As the president of the Eurotech Universities Alliance, it is my honor and pleasure to welcome all of you to this high-level event. Today I'm sending you warm regards from my office at the Technical University of Munich, while I would have much preferred to address you in person in Brussels. We are experiencing an extraordinary year that has challenged us in many ways, with the global health crisis, economic distress and many changes in our personal and professional lives. Dealing with COVID-19 has pushed us out of our comfort zone and motivated us to find creative solutions and flexibly explore new fields of action. The work of our alliance has not slowed down in times of crisis, quite the opposite. Challenged by adversity, we are now looking back on many success stories, such as quickly adapting to virtual teaching across our partner universities. With an entire online semester in the summer of 2020, and innovative hybrid formats this fall and winter. And we are proud to have been successful in the European Universities Initiative of the European Commission. This November, we will launch the Eurotech Engineering University and jointly make it our firm goal to shape Europe's engineering education of the future. Our innovative approach is to build an open campus, bringing our students together, connecting them with the wider society and looking at technologically inspired value creation in a new collaborative and holistic way. Our partner strong research innovation trajectory has brought us success with the, U with the EU's Horizon 2020 program. Together, all six Eurotech partners have managed to receive more than 1 billion euros of funding. This allows us to put extended research and, and innovation efforts to the benefit of our society. Looking forward, I'm convinced that Eurotech's excellence in research and education, entrepreneurial spirit and dedication to technological innovation can truly make a difference. And this excellence and responsibility of our talents is urgently needed to support the fight against COVID-19 and its manifold future implications and to enhance the technological sovereignty of Europe in a world that is facing a new era with breathtaking changes in science, economy, society and political shifts from the world of free trade to a new protectionism a la America first and a new Chinese era. Eurotech can build on its collective intelligence to deliver on the new demands for future education and continuing professional qualification of talents in rapidly changing labor markets. Eurotech comprises unique strength to address major societal paradigm shifts with declining acceptance of new technology and an increasing sense for sustainability. These present new historical challenges, but opens lots of opportunities for the transformative power of the EU's Green Deal on innovation processes, on products, services across the various technology sectors. For today, we have prepared a great program for you to jointly discuss how to design a resilient Europe that emerges stronger from the crisis. In the name of the Eurotech Universities Alliance, I would like to thank all the speakers to give this program its vital impetus. I want to invite everyone to explore with us new ways on how to turn the current challenges into new opportunities for Europe and the world. Be inspired and thanks for attending.